Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Love to see it. You love to see it, guys. You love to see the undead massacre. Finally clutching my way out of the depths of Flat Hell. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. Because tonight we're running Undead. Uh, even You might even call these are the best ones. They might even be the Hollywood Undead. Yeah, you like that band? I like that band. I liked a lot of their songs. Um, so you can see skeletons on here already, and you already know I am a big skeleton fan. I think the one, two, three step of skeletons right now is probably one of the best mono black plays that you can play. But I said, what if we make it all undead? And we've done some vampires. We've done flaming skulls. What if we had the vamps in there, man? Um, you know, we've had zombies in there, but we've never had vamps. So what if we had schism, bloodletter, Vran? Uh, we had some of the top tier vampires to really bring this down. Um, some of the other trips and tracks that we can throw in there. And just really bring it home. So before we get down to this one, guys, I need you to do something for me, which is, of course, tenderly press that like button, gently press that subscribe button. Because if you don't, if you don't press that like and subscribe button, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. You're going to get attacked by the like and subscribe. He's going to rip you apart. And that is a YouTube werewolf who will viciously attack you for not liking the video and subscribing to the channel today. Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all live streaming goodness. We would love to have you there on Twitch or hit that bell and we'll catch you live on YouTube additionally. Uh, you'll get the notification when we go live. You can check out our Discord community for all latest news, information, poster decks, post memes, ask questions, anything that you want to do, it's going to be on the Discord. And of course, this deck and all the other skeleton decks that I build are going to be available down below on my Aether Hub. So with that all being said, what do we have here with the Hollywood Undead? Well, big, big removal packages. We have to suppress um, we have to suppress the, the enemy. There is a lot of people running a lot of stuff right now. And uh, we got to keep them down. We got to keep those early game plays down. Two cut downs for your hasters, guys, right there. I'm going to go with three bitter triumphs and two long goodbyes. Um, long goodbye is nice and it can't be countered as well. With uh, mana value three or less, it's kind of worth it. Uh, if, if you're playing a lot of control right there, uh, it is kind of worth it to throw that in there. You could swap that out for any other kind of removal or anything like that if you wanted to. Um, but Long Goodbye has been useful against those control plays right there. Two Shieldred's Edict for Force Sacrifice, especially Planeswalker Force Sacrifice. Or if people are playing Indestructibles and they only have one down, you can do a Force Sacrifice on them right there. That's not a bad one. So we're having a variety here of uh, removal, force sacrifice, and direct removal right there. Uh, playing three life is not too bad for Bitter Triumph, especially when we're playing it close to the throat right there. Uh, I'd recommend discarding over probably um, over paying three life, especially if you have something like Corpse of the Lost out, because that will trigger its uh, that will trigger its if a, if a creature, um, oh no, it doesn't have descend. I'm sorry, it doesn't have descend. Never mind. Um, yeah, so that's going to be our removal package. Of course, early skeleton plays. What do we want to? Um, what do we want here? One black forsaken miner. It can't block. Whenever you commit a crime, you may pay one. If you do, return forsaken miner miner from the graveyard to the battlefield. Not tapped, just directly to the battlefield. Uh, and of course, if you have haste on it through your uh, through your corpse of the lost like that. Um, Oh yeah, Corpse of the Lost does have Descend. So yeah, if you do discard a card, uh, meaning that if a permanent card is put in the graveyard from anywhere using Bitter Triumph or anything like that, you can actually activate that. But anyways, yeah, accelerating Forsaken Miner down, being able to discard it, being able to sacrifice it, swing in, put pressure, it's great. It's a 2-2 Skeleton Rogue, and it comes back for one black mana. Great stuff right there. Tiny Bones joins up. I am really enjoying this card. As an early play, it really puts the cards on the table, no pun intended right here. I love Skeleton Tiny Bones. One black and one. Tiny Bones joins up, enters the battlefield. Any number of target players, it discards a card. We could even discard a card. We won't want to, uh, but there you go. Whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control, any number of players, each mills a card and loses a life. That is very nice. We can actually enhance that life loss total 
but yeah, when you put the when you put the pain down on the board, they immediately have to discard early game. It's like a duress, it's very painful, and it adds damage every single turn. There's Tiny Bones the pickpocket. With the amount of removal, with the amount of kill and discard that we're gonna have, I've actually gotten a couple of good scores off him. They don't really think about a 1-1 death touch going in. He's a great blocker at a 1-1 death touch. He's a great attacker too, because people don't really wanna lose a little guy to him, especially if they only have a big guy to him to a little guy, especially if they only have a small amount of uh, high level creatures and then whenever it deals combat to a combat uh combat damage to a player you may cast a permanent card from their play uh, from their graveyard and any mana can be cast to do that so very cool stuff nice stealing stuff if you don't want to put three in there you could get away with two yeah i'm not mad at you for doing two uh bitter triumph we already talked about that two stash skeletons i used to be big on this one i'm not so much um one black and one it does add another skeleton on the board and in a pinch it can give you that uh that uh tutor effect where if you control no suspected skeletons, uh, you search your library and put for a card, put it in your hand, which is very useful. You have to solve it that way. At the end of your turn, you have no suspected, and it puts a 2-1 uh, Menace Skeleton. I actually really like the Menace Skeleton. It does combine well with Corpses of the Lost, as we know. That's what I call the 1-2-3. Forsaken Miner, uh, Stash Skeleton on the 2, and then the 3 is Corpses of the Lost. Boom, You're all, all, all of a sudden you're swinging in for 9. Uh, that's how it goes with those skeletons. They really come out fast. It is a black aggro early build. So that's not a bad one. Sugar Rush, recommended to me by Mr. Larry himself, a friend of our Discord. He said, bro, sometimes you got to get the extra damage where you can get it in. And honestly, as a common card for plus three into the end of turn and extra damage and drawing the card for instant speed, we have a decent amount of menace or evasive flying things in this. And sometimes that extra three damage can really be what you need to get there. Plus that little bit of extra card draw. Now, I've used it to good effect a few times. It also has this really awesome candy theme from it from Eldraine. It does, it can be a game changer. Throwing that in, getting an extra card and getting three more damage, that can do some stuff. Keep that one in mind. Now, it, it is probably the first card I would swap out with some other stuff, maybe some sacrifice or anything like that, but keep them in mind. So now we have some of the vampires. Well, here's Varan Executioner Thane. A lot of these skeletons are going to die. A lot of our stuff is going to die because we're going to be aggressive putting stuff in. They're going to have to block. We want to get that two and two gain and drain, either on the defenses or offensive. So one black and one Varan Executioner Thane. Two, two Varexian Vampire. He's a legend. So whenever a creature we control dies, the gain and drains for two it only triggers once each turn but that means my turn and their turn so we can actually trigger a decent amount of damage and life loss for a decent amount that is enhanced by blood letter later on and vran my, vran for real vran my dude for real here's corpses of the lost probably one of the sneaky best black cards in the game currently one black and two skeletons you control have plus one and haste brutal don't forget that tiny bones is a skeleton this is a skeleton and um Corpses of the Lost creates a skeleton as well. Forsaken Miner is a skeleton. And this creates a 2-2 Black Pirate skeleton and hastes it. At the beginning of your turn, if you descended this turn, meaning that if a permanent is put into your graveyard from anywhere, you can pay one life and immediately return it, meaning that you can play it again to generate another skeleton pirate and accelerate downrange. Hunted Bone Brute. I've used this guy a couple of times, and he is tricky. He's a tricky, he's a tricky card to play, and he's a tricky card to deal with. He's all around just full of tricks. I feel like I'm the only guy who uses this card. One black and two, six two menace skeleton beast. Whenever it enters the battlefield, target opponents creates two one one white dog creature tokens. Ignore them. Don't look at the puppy's sweet eyes. We don't want those puppies on the board. Only in an emergency do we ever want those puppies. What we want to do is pay this card face down for three. It's a two two card. Uh, it's a 2-2 creature with Ward 2, meaning that early in the game, it's kind of hard to deal with. You kind of have to take a whole turn to kill it, which is slows them down if they want to. Then we can flip it upright, so we pay 3, and then we can flip it upright for 1 black and 1, 2 mana, and all of a sudden it's a 6-2 menace, and then when it dies, opponent loses 3 life. Don't forget, it's a skeleton, which means that Corpse of the Lost will affect it too. So in a pinch, we can accelerate it down range. Um, and it will get more damage. That ability that either they have to block it and they're either going to lose three life or they're going to hit for six or seven is really a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Which I really, really like, especially when we're getting to the additional life drain 
abilities on the high end right there. Preacher of the Schism, yeah, more vampires. Probably one of the better three drop vampires in the deck in in the game right now. One black and two two four death touch. Whenever creature of the Schism attacks, the player with the most life or tied for the most life creates a one one vampire life. Uh, creature token whenever uh, attacks when i have the most life or tied for the most life we lose a life and draw a card so either way we're getting token fodder one one lifelink vampire token fodders or we're drawing extra cards he's a great defender uh he's hard to kill because he's immune to cut down and he's immune to lightning bolt so you have to use a heavy removal on him on a two four great defender with the death touch and puts a little bit of aggression on the board right there so i like to slide him in there in the three slot and then we're going to finish it off with the man of the hour the Vampire Demon. Yes. Yes. Blood Letter of Aklazots. This is what takes the deck just, it absolutely punishes people. For, this is what, this is the closer right here. Three black and one, two, four flying Vampire Demon. If an opponent would lose life during your turn, they lose that. They lose twice that much life then if you ever see the word double or twice in magic cards you immediately know that this is an insanely powerful card insanely powerful if you ever see those words twice the much damage guess what that means every all the skeletons we're swarming in with we could set ourselves up turn three turn four lay down aklazots and swing in heavy and all the damage is going to be double damage then even stuff like haunted bone brute and vran so let's say we have Haunted Bone Brute and Varan down. If we do a Varan, they lose four life, okay? We gain two life, they lose four. If Haunted Bone Brute dies, they lose six life. So it's it's one of those situations, well, I could either take the hit and take six, or it dies and I take six. Either way, you're taking a huge hit of life. And remember, this compounds for each one of these creatures out on the board. If you have two of these out, oh my goodness, two damage is actually eight damage. Things are crazy. Things just get out of control with the vampire demons right there. So uh, that is the combination skeletons and vampires, the Hollywood undead. 20 swamps, two demolition fields, one sandstorm verge. The reason we want that maybe is, uh, is targets. Um, so if you want to bring back Forsaken Miner, if you don't have something that can instantly target something else, but the swamps are fine. Um, this is rotation proof guys. You're, you're going to say, Jay, why does it have weird choices in it? Why aren't you including this? Why are you including that? It is rotation proof. Uh, you could add a necropolis or a dross pits. Eh, not super necessary. Let's go over here. Um, it, it is alchemy legal, which means it's rotation proof. That's why I'm doing that. Uh, that is the region because you only have like 30 something days left with these cards, man. You better start getting used to not being without them. 16 creatures, uh, skeletons and vampires, of course, the biggest ones right there. 12 instants, nine, nine enchantments and 23 lands altogether um, with a 2.1 average. Pretty cheap, aggressive deck right here for the Hollywood Undead. Let's take a look at it on the sideways view for our horizontal guys right there. Probably the only other options that I have for you is if you want to put a little bit more discard in it uh, or swap any other types of things. Yeah, you certainly could. Um, like a duress, a hopeless nightmare. Um, if you're running into things that are like really, really, really hurting and you really need to cut their hand up as bad as you can, maybe invest in more discard maybe invest in a little bit more removal but for the most part you want to get built up and really really knock them down with the life loss and stuff like that the other cards that i could recommend is uh sacrifice and draw so if you want something like a uh, this was recommended to me by electric kitten they said yeah that's not a bad one uh, fanatical offering or um corrupted conviction that's not a bad one either if you want to do something like that because it pairs very nicely with uh, something like Hunted Bone Brute, um, where you could force sacrifice it with Aklazots on the board and they lose six life. You get to draw two cards and you get all that stuff right there. So not a bad idea to have a little bit of card draw, possibly, and maybe a touch more, a touch more discard in case they're really running some high level stuff and they're trying to pull combos off or something like that. You can uh, just rip them out of their hand and slow them down as best as possible so you can get the darkness in range. That's what it is, guys. Horizontal view for your pleasure. That's what I got for you. Uh, we're making it out of plat hell with this one, boys. Um, let's get into the game. Let's get to it. Um, yeah, we're, we're getting out of plat hell with this one. We're going we're gonna to get to diamond. We got time. We got time, guys. Here we go. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Are you tired of skeletons? Do you love them? Do you love undead? Do you love vampires? I want to hear it. Leave a comment down there and don't forget to like the video. It's uh, it, it's uh, it's a hell of a thing.
What's up, Vlad? Ten of bones. Now it flooded me with 80 pounds of removal. Look at that. Commander Precons. Yeah, you can get them. Here's the trick. I'll tell you a little secret. You go to any big box store or GameStop and you wait until a new set is coming out or maybe and look for the ones, the old ones, they'll put them on sale. Um, that's your, that's your trick right there. That's your trick. You can get them usually half off. Barnes & Noble, great place for them. I have gotten so many boxes for 50% off at Barnes & Noble, it's crazy. I have, I have gotten a crazy amount of stuff. You go to the Barnes & Noble, they got a lot of magic card shit there. And they will randomly just knock it down in price. Um, I've gotten $25 starter bundles. So that's fucking 8 or 9 packs for $25, which is absurdly good. Um, let's see this. He's got the reprieve. He's clutching the reprieve. He's clutching the reprieve. He's doing it. He can't help it. Nope. It got down. Or he's got the removal ready to go. Alright. Alright, there's the gopher. The wrong one to kill right there, because that guy resurrects. Um, we'll decline for right now. We can wait. So all we need to do is hit a bitter triumph on whatever goes down here. I can do a long goodbye like this. Watch this. Do a long goodbye. Boom. That's a crime. Auto pay. Swoom. Boom. And all of a sudden we're crooning again. Boom. boom. Um, so yeah, that was why he shouldn't have removed that one. He should have got rid of the other one. Yeah. I have two Commander Precons. I have the Outlaws of Thunder Junction right here. The Most Wanted, the uh, Treasure. Treasure by Outlaws one. I have that Precon, and I have um, the Ixalan Precon Commander. I have not opened either, and they're sit they've been sitting on my shelf for months now. Because um, I don't really have anybody to play Commander with. I don't have a Commander pod. I don't really go to my LGS anymore. SMH. S M Card Kingdom. Did they say what I'm looking for? They said they're also sold out. CDH is just EDH competitive with the most broken decks. Uh, yeah, the C stands for competitive. Yeah, that's that's what the C stands for. The C means competitive. Um, so it's like super. It's people who want to play because theoretically EDH <coughs> or Commander is a casual format. Yeah, I don't understand that power scaling shit. People will be like, my deck's a seven and a half. I don't know what the fuck that means, man. Is it real strong or is it fucking weak? I, they, the people understand certain... And then they have a bunch of rules and then they're like, well, no, can't use Soul Ring and also don't use this and um, make sure you don't have any of these cards. And it's like, bro, I, I don't know what it is, man. I, you know, Tiny Bones... Yeah, I'm not the biggest commander player. I, you know, I'll be honest with you. It, it's not that appealing to me. I've been playing Magic a certain way. I'm a Magic boomer. I, I've been playing Magic a certain way for 20 years before Commander came out, really. So it's like, um, I don't, wh what am I doing? You know, it's not really, it's not that, it's not that fascinating to me, so. So let's do this. So you're gonna kill me? Boom. Okay. How do we know what's broken in it? Like. 
how do how what is the what is the measurement? Like how do we as players know what the what is supposed to be the power level scaling? Like is there a, is there a play? And I'm being I'm being genuine here. I know it kind of sounds like I was being facetious. Is there like a website where I can go to that will like rate my deck? You know, that'll give me deck ratings. If I take a picture of it, will they be like that's a nice deck, man? That's that's at least an eight. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get a you gotta do I gotta pay somebody for a deck rating? If I go on Twitter and look for somebody to pay for a deck rating, is is that how it works? Hey Jay, what's my current meta deck? Yeah, the most fun is the zero loves it. Nathan and only. Probably mono black skeletons or flaming skulls is the best one. Let's do tiny bones, actually. Let's do that. Cookies finally got what I was putting down. Cookies, everyone else, it was going right over their head, but uh. <laughs> cookies, cookies got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man of course cookies got it oh cookies get mad when i tells him tell him of course of course it was you that got it um let's see nizumi line breaker let's do that boom boom creature of the sky zone Ooh, Gigtaxian Recycler. Interesting. And turn. From what I gathered, watching people play Command of Power of Terror is entirely subjective. Yeah, I was just wondering if there was like a specific card people were like, oh man, that is, that's uh, that's the Bone Crusher right there, man. You you play that, people are gonna know. Uh, people are gonna be like, oh man, this dude's this dude's playing gas, you know. It's probably the best early combination plays of. Uh, it's probably the best combination early plays of uh, black right now. It's a great opener. It's what I'm playing right now. I'm doing a vampire skeleton. I'm kind of mixing and matching right now to bust through. Break on through to the other side. You know the day destroys the night. Night divides the day. Try to run, try to hide. Break on through to the other side. Yeah. You know, there's only so many cards that are good. That's the biggest, uh, that's the biggest problem. There's only so many cards that are that are I would say that are good cards. So it's hard for me to build with garbage, you know. He's gonna do toxic analysis again. Boom boom. Nice. What's he gonna put down here? Nothing. He's gonna draw. <clears throat> I've heard discard is frowned upon. I've I've heard that vaguely. I've seen memes about when the when the commander pod guy has a discard guy. Um, I I guess that's I guess that's uh frowned upon. 
I don't know why. I don't know why. I feel like that's pretty valid strategy. Could steal his greedy freebooter. I'm gonna steal his Gitaxian Recycler. He's gonna draw a card. Boom. Yeah, I guess the idea commander players get upset when you interact or play or play hate apparently. Yeah, I I've heard this. I've heard that they don't they're not crazy about the interaction aspect. Um I'm going to take one damage, dude. Sure. Yeah. That's fine. Play something big, bro. Play something. There you go, man. There you go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Yeah, now we're now we're cooking with gas. Swing. There we go. I like playing Tegrid with Mythos of Snapdax. I saw a meme about that. I was scrolling through YouTube shorts. Uh, and, uh, somebody was talking about when the, when the Tegrid commander sits at the table and everyone's like, oh, no, oh, God, oh, this is, oh, this is the worst. This dude's dead. I don't know if he knows that, but he's, he's dead. Yep. Or girl, I don't know, Andy could be a girl's name. I've known girls named Andy, especially with the eye. It seems weird that we're supposed to just let one person run away with the game and not supposed to do anything about it. Um, I I don't know. I feel like you're supposed to play. I feel like my three-man games used to get pretty heated. I used to play three-man. That was wild, man, because there would be sudden betrayals. I prefer, honestly, if we're playing four-player, I like two-headed giant. Two-headed giant is pretty fun. Because then there's clear teams, you know? Then there's very clear teams that... Hey, this is my partner. We're playing together, and I'm teaming up with him. It's not like, oh, well, if if you let me resolve this spell, I'll let you resolve one spell later, and I won't kill your Tarmogoyf if you don't kill my Sangir Vampire. And then the other person goes, oh, I'm going to kill your Tarmogoyf. I lied. And they go, oh, you betrayed me. We had an alliance. Um, I don't know. Two headed giant is fun though. I that's one that's one I don't know how the hell they'd ever implement it on arena, but that'd be one I'd be I'd be into. I'd be deep into that. Boom. You hate the, they hate the politics. I think that's what people like. I think that's why the EDH shows are so popular, is because people do these they do these massive Herculean uh give and takes with the way everything goes there's these there's these giant betrayals and uh, there's these betrayals and triumphs and victories and tragedies and I think Eric Angel also had perfect um I was hoping he would do that everyone's been playing her lately and the fun thing about her is that I have this so you're gonna need to go ahead and let's go ahead and sacrifice planes while we're filming. That'd be really great if you could do that. Thank you, man. And uh, we're gonna we flip that face up. Fantastic. 
you go ahead and uh, you block what you need to block there, man. There you go. You're going to gain, hit for six, gain and drain out, boom, bum. There we go. So, this is either kill or a Gondor. That's not, that's not it, Chief. That is not it. Well, he could make a... Let's not get it twisted now. He could make a... He could make a soldier. He could create a colorless soldier. That's the smart move. Uh, rebuke. No. Nope. Destroy. You might have a destroy here, boys. Go in. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so lose that. And Thanos snap him out of existence, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Blood Letter. Thank you, Blood Letter. Thank you for. Thank you for snapping him out of existence. I needed that. Gotta love Bone Brute. It does what it do, what it do, what it do. When you stack that Bone Brute with the, with the vampire guy right there, that's six damage on killing. Having to kill a 6-2 menace, you lose 6 life if you kill it. Like, that's bad, bro. Two-headed giant fighting it over Trex. Wow. Cookies says, Jay, if they ever introduce two-headed giant, <laughs> it's going to be Trex everyone wants on their team, not you. <laughs> that is top tier. Uh... Backhanded, <laughs> backhanded compliment. <laughs> That's like the way when you see someone is like, "Oh my God, are you okay? You look so tired." <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, it's good stuff. I like that. Uh, Dada bones. Um, boom. All right. Well, we could actually play Anduril Flame of the West out of my graveyard. Funny enough. Funny enough. Um, Gakes. I'm telling you, it would be great content. Yes. And I, I think you are. Honestly, you're right about that. Tra Trax will build some. Uh, Trax will have that. That giant. That the he'll have that contraption on his side, man. He'll have that devious device. Um. Reprieve, very nice. All right, so that's he uses reprieve on that. Ugh. All right. He's gonna do nothing. Uh, I think people would want Trax, yeah. He he makes he makes Rube Goldberg machine decks. And they they hit. He's he's a min maxer. <clears throat> he's the type of guy that you want playing a uh, like a full wizard. Exactly, that's pretty much it. Remember that uh remember the lethal weapon when OJ Simpson is putting together his gun? They're in a gunfight. And Leslie Nielsen and the other guy are shooting are shooting it out, and Les and OJ just keeps adding more and more attachments to his gun, and then finally the last dude pops out, and he's always got his cornered, and you see him, and he shoots the uh, he shoots a, a massive fucking cannon. Uh, like an artillery cannon, because he's put it together for the whole fight. That's what I imagine Trex would be doing. All right, 
We have, we probably have a lightning helix somewhere in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, naked gun two and a half. Uh, decline. We'll do a decline right there. Vorpal, how you doing? Vorpal, did you ever watch my Vorpal sword deck? I feel like you would appreciate it. I feel like if anybody appreciated it, it would be you. You would appreciate it. It, I think I've only gotten two Vorpal kills in my life, but that was the best one because I was almost dead. I hit the top deck and swung in and uh, hit the execution. And I think they had a lot of life too, which was which was nice. Oh, so he's going to do that. He's going to ossify that. That's good. It's a good move right there. So we got nothing here. This guy's a slow player. He's just slow playing me to death here, which is great. Love to see that. I got a handful of kills. You don't want to play any kills. I'm waiting for him to play his, um, his, uh, Tajik. Andrew Will Flame of the West. Very nice. I'll link you in a little bit. I've been living in a heart flame duelist. Till you turn black. -na 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 -na. Hey, I got a new complaint. Just play Izzy's G's and Spell Slingers against Orzhov Discard Fairy. How did it go, Jin Spell Slingers? Suffice to say, they did not like it. Jewel Mine Overseer. Very nice. Okay. Jewel Mine Overseer. Very nice. Blood Ladder of <laughs> Um, Let's do this. Boom. Boom. Got a lot of stuff right here. Got a lot of stuff going on. Mana, seven dwarves, very nice. Yeah, anytime I see Heart Flame Duelist, I have to I have to sing, I've been living in a Heart Flame Duelist. Every every card name reminds me of a song. Only some of them get out, though. Only some of them actually get out there, but pretty much every card name is, uh... Almost, almost everyone is, I should say. I shouldn't say every single one of them. Because then people go, oh, what's your what's your song for Jewel Mine Overseer? And I'll be like, well, I don't really have one. But a lot of them. Killshot and Asselson's Guild. Um, let me find out for you real quick. Virtue of loyalty, very nice. No attacks. Boom, boom. Said boom, boom, boom. Everybody say way oh, way oh. Uh, vicious Vorpal assassins. Yeah, I believe that's gonna be the one right there. Demir Rogue, unblockable Vorpal sword, jank standard. And I think it's the last one. Uh, that I got it. Probably one of the highlights of my magic career. Like with one life less completely vorpling someone is uh was it oh look at that hey hey look at that card that's a pretty cool card right Jeez. i wonder what kind of deck i could play that card in hmm hmm
Okay, actually, I can, I could, I, I, I could fuck with this. Greedy freebooter. Okay, a man, a man after my own heart. Sign of bones. Okay, we do that. Boom. Get rid of it. Get rid of it, man. Get rid of it. Ping me. Tiny bones, pickpocket. Boom. Oh. Gonna mill him. Let me do another one of these. Yeah. He's gonna be pissed. He's probably gonna play a removal. That's fine. Boom. There you go. Gotta get something else out of that hand. Oh, we got rid of another removal out of there. Okay, that's fine. There's the Palantir. Boom. I will take the damage. Ooh, a five banger. Oh, that sucked. Uh, we'll put that down. Boom. Boom. Roman throne. Nazgul, maybe? Wraith. Okay. Boom. Um, should I risk it? No, I'm pretty low already. Obstraw's card. Boom. Alright, Sandstone Verge. Bango. The ghoulie ghoulie ghoul, that's what he wants right there. Shoom, 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 shoom. Going up, going up, going up. Going up, going up, going up. Flipping. Blocks, boom, boom. yeah. Didn't get the mana and he hit the, the early Palantir here, which sucks. Um, Ops draws a card, boom. We have that. He saves a long goodbye. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what we put down, does it? We didn't get it. We did not get it. He got the early plays there, and that was not that. That was Glove. That was the Wall of Fire right there, so you don't expect to get through those, you know? At the end of the day, it's not going to give it to me for cheap. It's not going to give me the Wall of Fire for cheap, guys. Let's be honest. Here's the link. Meet lovers. I can't believe uh, they got away with calling a pizza meat lovers. I feel like in this day and age, no way they ever get away with that. Somebody in the boardroom is going to be like, you can't call this pizza meat lovers. Sam Handwich. I played this guy before. Pepperoni Pounder with a pound of pepperoni. Yeah. I mean, at this point, just call it the thick and juicy sausage slam. I, you know, I don't. 
Like, am I right? Just, just go all the way with it, you know? <laughs> we might as well. It's funny thing about marketing that Canada, there's a bunch of people ordering it because of that name. True, yeah, they could be the people that are just like, oh yeah, definitely. Thick and juicy sausage and slam is the way to go. Um, what's he got? What's he got? What's he got here, man? What do you got? What are you holding up the game for, man? What are you holding up the game for? You got an instant? Okay. Seven. There you go. Lose three life. Boom. Oh, Stormclaw Rager. Very nice. Stormclaw Rager, sing this song. Do da, do da. And there's the flood. All right, great. They're right on time. Six mana out of 11. Obviously, I have too much mana in this deck. Obviously, that's what's going on here. He's going to play the fucking Vein Ripper, which I cannot get rid of. Fantastic. So, great one right there. That's going to be, I have to pay three life, so that's going to be 12. No, I can't do it. Can't do it. Pass. Each player sacrifices a creature. If a source would deal, that deals that much damage, plus two instead. It's going to be that. face down we flip it face up you can't block oh ho, 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 ho. Ooh, that one gave me the shimmy shammies right there, guys. That one gave me the shimmy shammy. I was locked in on that one. I wanted to outplay that guy right there. Ooh, I know he mad right there. Oh, he's back there. He's mad. He is mad, bro. He is mad. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's, yeah. It sometimes breaks that way, bro. It sometimes it breaks that way. Ooh, I get the shakes on that one. Thank you, Electric Kitten. 
Sometimes I can play good. Sometimes I know how to play good. I can I can I fuck with this. Ooh, yeah, Tiny Bones joins up out the gate. Boom. Let's put down Vran. Let's put down Vran. Let's put him on the table. Let's ping him. Put that in the trash. Good stuff. He might retaliate, but that's his turn if he does that. He, he probably will retaliate. Yeah. That's his turn, though. We'll put down this. Maybe he retaliates. We don't know. Missionary kicked. Oh, he wants that back in his hand. Okay. He wants to snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. We'll do that. <clears throat> What's he gonna do for me here? In one life. What's he gonna do for me here? He's gonna missionary it up. Hit for six. Take six more off. Purify, very nice. Very nice. Three little pigs, he's going in. Each opponent sacrifices a Could have used anything but a land there. He gets that. I'll take my action. Thins the thins the lands out. I have my Sheldred's Edict. Down to four. Okay, surveil. Palantir. Excel target artifact, very nice. Non-token creature is activated. Boom. Boom. Don't be a land. Don't be a land game, please. Absolutely fucking hell, my guy. Oh, my lord. Ah, yeah, there you go. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely fucking wild. Absolutely fucking wild here. Just be a removal. Please be a removal off the top. That's all I need, man. 
That's all I need is a fucking top deck removal. Lose life. Thank freaking God. Okay. We're gonna have to trick play him here. Oof. Trying to get me, manas. Manas. You trying to get me. You trying to you trying to trick me, manas. I, I got a trick for you, manas. Alright. Hey, what's up, Richie Rich? What's up, cookies? Bugga man, 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 Wall of fire, guys. Through the blood of the wicked, we shall be redeemed. Hallelujah, amen. In Vito's name we pray. Thirty percent chance of mana draw. You know what? We won't even bring it out. Maybe add corrupting eviction with bone brute. That's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. Good, good ad, uh, kitten. That might be, uh, that might not be a bad one. Sid Justice. Let's see. I got a decent amount. I got a couple of good cards here. Um. We're gonna go in. He might flash. We'll do stashed. That's fine. Oh, oh, where's the reprieve? We'll get the reprieve out of there real quick. Ah, okay. I appreciate you crediting your source. There it is. Yeah, get that reprieve out of your hand, man. You don't need that shit. All right. What's he going to put down? War leaders. Very nice. So, next turn... We really want to hold on to the Shieldred's Edict, because what he's going to put down is going to be a banger. So whatever he's going to put down next is going to be hugely banger, and I want to kill it as soon as that shit pops. It's probably going to be fucking Tajik, if I had to guess. And for sacrificing Tajik. You now it's Baird, a gravy and recruiter. Um, made with delicious a gravy. Man, research deck. Should I go for him? Ooh, should I go for the delicious gravy? Yeah, let's get him. Mad about that. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Boom, down to that. There we go. Mechanized Warfare. I don't think he understands the threat. I don't think he's aware of the threat right now. This shit. Boom. Maybe I don't understand the threat. Maybe he's gonna fuck me up in some kind of way. No, he's not. Demolition. That's gonna hurt. And it's not gonna kill me hurt. That's the that's the issue that he's gonna face here. It's going to be an undead massacre, boys. It's going to be an undead massacre. 
Oh, it's going to be a bloody massacre, boys. An absolute bloodbath. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Look at that. Love to see it. You love to see it, guys. You love to see the undead massacre. Finally clutching my way out of the depths of Plat Hell. Yes. I don't think I can end the run better than that. Especially being Boros fuck all. Uh, very powerful. Very powerful magic here. Very powerful stuff. As controversial as pineapple on pizza. I call it Black Ola, but I think it's, uh, should we call it Hollywood Undead? We might have to. We might have to, guys. I don't know. Ooh, so that's a good one. I mean, combining vampires and skeletons, I realize I've been combining everything in skeletons, but honestly, one of the most consistent one, two, three openers, especially with a couple of these new modifications that we have here, um... Bloodletter bringing it, uh, Preacher, and Vran bringing that extra spiciness to the undead mastery right here. So Mono Black Undead, I mean, come on, man. That's why they're rock stars. They're Hollywood Undead. Um, pineapple on pizza. Yeah, that's pretty controversial. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it right there for tonight. Slowly gripping my way out of Flat Hill into the sweet horribleness of Diamond. Uh, I hope you join me. I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Bye-bye.